So, wouldn't it be great in life if things just fall in place and things just turn out to be good or the slope of life should be very smooth and understand us? Unfortunately, it doesn't happen in life. Thank you, God. But luckily, it happens in Blender. Let us see. So here I am in the Blender. Now I am clicking on this auto keyframe and just playing spacebar. And when I just grab it and move it, what actually happens is the animation data is getting recorded over here so let us switch this off and get back over here and now if i play this thing it just takes place as it actually needs to go now if i raise this panel a little bit up and bring out my little brother graph editor i'm just clicking over here and clicking the graph editor if you don't know how this new panel was created just pin me up in the uh, comment and I will get to that. Uh, let us just look at only one of the options. Click and drag over here and we are seeing this single option which is the X location. So if I just play this is the X location. What the next option of bringing the life on a track means is if I select this part and just go to key and this new option is being added to the blender. Match slope. If I click on this you will get a slider over here it is just going to create a smooth slope based on the adjacent keyframes so this will be very useful for creating smoothness from motion capture data this must be thankful to the blender development fund so what people actually do is they click on this splash screen and here you get this development fund button the moment you click over here it will take you to a page where you can donate them because they are creating this wonderful software and providing us open source so it's our duty and our responsibility to help them do what they actually love to do the next thing is real-time compositor implementation of anisotropic kugahara what it actually means is let me demonstrate it to you i am coming here to the compositing workspace and i am changing this panel to image editor and here i am using the viewer node what it actually does is i have this image of a cat <coughs> After that, I added this Kuvahara node. How to add it? Shift A S Kuvahara. And when I connect this over here, what it actually does is it gives a painterly effect as if someone had painted. Wouldn't it be great that one day you just wake up and start painting? But you can't. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes understanding the craft, but not after this thing kuvahara node what it actually does is when i just click on this node and tap m to mute it you see the texture over here and the moment i mute it off it is working like a painting that option has been added for the next open movie which is going to behave like a 3d painting that was one thing and then the next implementation by the blender developers was this option so if i come over here and change the degrees uh, the changes will be lively taking place over here because previously what it used to do is it used to bring the actual image which is this one let me just bring the preview over here it was actually this image and this image would come over here and then rotate and then it would apply over there and the next option is allow eyedropper outside of blender just think for a moment wouldn't it be great that you could go out of your comfort zone do something and then get back to where you were and do your wonderful craft and wonderful artwork it is especially very wonderful idea for introverts but unfortunately very few succeed in that just going out into the world being a little bit of extrovert and then coming back and becoming the introvert that you were chosen by the god to be and then do your craft wonderfully so that can be done now in blender what it actually means is if i go to the shading tab and if i come over here see i have an image over here previously what blender used to do is when i click over here and use this picker tool i can only use the color from the user interface of blender but now it's not like that you could be introvert and just for a little bit of time you can just go out in the open and get the color from there wow yeah you can just get the color out of blender window i want a little bit of yellow so that is how things will work isn't it great it's awesome thanks to the blender development fund and also i want to 
give a huge shout out to blenderjob.com because it is doing an excellent work inside this community of bringing all the creators and uh, the job creators who work based on blender and other softwares which correlate with blender at one place in one platform so blenderjob.com uh, let me get back to the topic now with a little bit of rambling wouldn't it be great if you could just double click on a person and change his name and everything but you couldn't because there are legal aspects and a lot of things that country needs to know about exactly you so that they could get your vote to the correct thing that can get them elected to the place where they can use the money which is being taxed on us so that they could do everything that is wonderful in their life based on our money oh my god but you can do one wonderful thing in blender the blender developers have provided us to just double click on the markers and change their names what it actually means for the noobs out there you can select this camera and just tap m on the keyboard to add a marker of that camera and then come over here and then select this camera and bring your mouse in this area and then tap m to create a new marker so what you can do is you can just double click on this thing and name it shot one it's renamed and you can come over here and double click on this and rename it shot two for the noobs out there what it actually does is you can just switch the cameras right inside the viewport marker bind camera to marker and bring this over here look from the cameras and what it actually does is it will jump to the different camera so it's a very wonderful way of doing this and camera this will be showing the camera name you can't change this to change this you might need to go over here and change the name of this shot one so that will be replicated there but right now it is showing the name of the camera if you double click on it it will be showing the marker name so that is a little bit of distinguishment between them and for all this we have to actually thank the people who are clicking on this development fund and giving a little bit of what they can contribute in terms of finances in terms of money so that these people actually do what they love to do and they are providing this for a wonderful value I, a huge shout out to a wonderful website which is blenderjob.com because this is going to bring all the blender community at one place of the people who think in the terms of blender people who create in the terms of blender and people who create opportunities or jobs or studios who work in terms of blender at one place with that being said and then try to support me on the patreon's page and you can also support me by watching the entire ads without skipping them which are falling on these videos goodbye have a good day blend day and it's sunday